everyone. Today I just want to hop on and share a few good notes tips with you. Um, I know I see a lot of tips on Instagram Reels and TikTok and sometimes they're a little bit hard to follow because they just go by so fast. So I just want to slow everything down for you and create a video for all the tips that I found. So let's get started. So in the beginning, you're probably going to want to write on your page, but you can't. And the reason is because you need to use this. That allows you to edit things and write on the page. And when you want to use the links, you want to go back to this mode and press the links here. So now I just want to go through each tool and show you what it does. Um, here is the magnifying tool, which you can use this to write things without zooming in too much. So if I want to write here, I can just write like this without having to fully zoom in all the time. And this will give you a better precision on your writing and um, just less movement on the screen and you can zoom into everything here and next is the pen tool so there's a fountain pen ball pen brush pen and um, I like to use the ball pen and there's a feature here where you can um, draw shapes and this is really handy for just making blocks and shape without using the shape tool. So I have the fill color feature here which does this, it snaps into place and fills it in. Um, and if you don't want to um, use the color fill, you can just turn that off and you'll get this. And the next thing is a little hack. You can actually use this as a highlighter tool. You can do this, make a shape, and if you have the fill um, selection on, you can actually erase the outline, which you can only do with the undo button, and then use that as a highlighter. And the next thing is the eraser. There's three types of eraser, and I just want to show you the difference so there's a precision and you want to just be very precise on what you want to erase you'll use that standard eraser takes off a bigger chunk and then the stroke eraser just takes the whole thing um, off because you did that all in one stroke just also do um, erase highlighter only I used a highlighter for that I can just erase the highlighter. And so now we'll go on to the highlighter tool, which I love. It helps me add some of the accents on my planner. And you can create your own palette here that I have. And a tip is to, if you want to organize it, you can drag it along and just organize it by color. And so this is a shape tool. Here are the features. You can choose to fill in your shape or not, or just write an outline. So here is another example. This is the square and it just snaps into the square. And um, if you want to use this as a highlighter again, or a transparent shape, you can always use um, a stroke eraser. Oops, did it too fast stroke eraser and then just touch it and erase that or um, if you make a new one and you just go backspace or undo and then it will turn into a fill shape and the lasso tool um, does a lot of things so right now I have most of the things checked on and um, sometimes you might want to just grab one thing, but you end up doing this. Um, so if you want to just grab the graphic, you will just turn these off. 
and you can just grab the graphic and then if you just want the handwriting in this case which is my highlighter you'll just grab that and if you just want the text box then you do that and now everything is back together the difference between lassoing an image and using the photo icon and right now the image um, we can do is um, resize it like this and you can also add stuff to element which is here and save it as a sticker and especially with text you can recolor your text after you've done stuff and also your writing so I can go like this with two different colors and here you can also convert your writing to text so you go here and just copy it and paste it and there you go on the element tab so you can create a whole bunch of um, groups for your elements or collection and you can add more here and you can actually split screen so then you can easily drag stuff over and now on to the photo feature um, this is great for if sometimes your things are layered and you can't grab um, a certain item. So say you were just frustrated doing this and you didn't want to turn those stuff off. And sometimes even like this would grab the whole thing. You can just go here, tap on it, and it'll grab the image. And the thing with um, the image icon is you can crop so um, you can either do a rectangle crop or a freehand crop and if you tap it again you can add your images and for the text tool you can either use your keyboard to write or you turn on the scribble function on your iPad and you can write like this. The text feature also um, allows you to do some highlighting um, and add a text box around your text. So you, these are some presets that you have. But if you go to advanced mode, you can actually change the background of your um, text box. And you can also round the corners of your text box to make it look more oval. And you can also add a shadow, which you can show up here. It's very subtle. Um, and you can also add a border. and. You'll see when I change the color that you'll see a border there and then you can also adjust the thickness of your border. And for the text you can also um, set a default text so right now every time I write it will be this um, font but if I want to change it to um, this font every time I write, then I can actually go here and tap set as default. And then so when I write, this will be my new font. So this is a short overview of all the GoodNote beginner tips um, for today. And if you like to see more, please leave a comment and I would love to do another compilation. See you next time.